Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see how to use lookup function to combine two data sets within a report in SSRS. For this, let us go to SSDT. Now I have got a very simple report. Okay. I have just added a report title to it using a text box. Now there are two data sets. Okay. The first data set, let us go and see the query for the first data set. Okay. So it is just having product key selected from the sales data and we are grouping the product key and then we are getting summation of sales amount and tax amount. Okay. So all that we are doing as part of this particular data set is getting three columns, product key, sales amount and tax amount grouped by product key from sales data. Okay. And I have got a second data set. Let us go and see its query. In second data set, all we are doing is selecting the product key, color and size, three columns from product data table. That's it. Okay. So now let us go and add a table to our report. Right. Now let us go and add few fields to our report. Now it is important to understand over here that we are going to the first data set. Okay. We have gone to the first data set that is D set underscore sales. And from there we are dragging the first column on our tablets. So we are adding product key over here. Now, once we have done this, then the tablets has got now attached or associated with this first data set. Now the tablets will accept data values only from this first data set okay so let us see let us add two more columns from the first data set so we are able to add sales amount and we will be able to add tax amount now let us insert columns to the right okay now what if we want see this product key is common between the two tables right so what if we want to join these two data sets based on this product key and get color and size over here okay so let us go and try First of all, let us name this as, uh, let us go and try to put this color over here, right? So what we have done, we have just selected color and we are trying to drag and drop color over here. It will not allow because color column belongs to another data set. It does not belong to D set underscore series data set, right? So it will not allow. So let us drag and drop it. Now it has given the error, right? D set underscore sales. It, re it requires data values it can accept data values only from d set underscore sales right let us do similar thing for our size again it has given the same error right that it requires data values only from d set underscore sales it cannot accept any other values from other data set right so now how to get the product color and product size because we know for every product there, will, there is color and size defined in the dim products that is table right so now how to get these values so over here if you want to combine these two data sets then we can make use of something called as lookup function so let us see how to use it so let us go to this cell let us go to expressions over here you just type lookup okay and Now, the first thing that you need to provide is which is the key based on which you want to join the two tables. Okay, so this is the key, comma. Now, which is the key in the second table or the second data set which will be used for the join? So it has to got the same name, product key only, right? So I will just copy pasted it. Okay. Now, the third thing is which column do you want as output over here in this cell so i want color column so i will just copy paste it again and i will replace product key by color okay and fourth argument is which is the data set from which you want the column to be output so it is d set underscore no it, d set products right there is no underscore d set products is the name of the data set right d set products Correct. So now let me copy paste this whole thing. Okay. 
so now we have done x we have set the expression for color similarly let's go for the text box for size go to expressions i have copied that so i will paste it the only difference is instead of color i want to pull the size column everything else remains the same that is the columns based on which we are joining the two data sets remains the same and the data set name remains the same so only the third argument that is the name of the column which we want as output only changes right so let's click okay let's do some formatting okay So now we are able to see the report that is now we have data from the first data set this is these three columns are coming from the first data set as well as these two columns are now coming from the second data set and we have combined or joined both these data sets in inside our report so i hope friends this video tutorial is useful to you thank you